Hey Facebook, hey Instagram, it's Lisa Davis, Regional Vice President with Armand, Licensed Esthetician and Professional Makeup Artist. Today, for Makeup Tip Monday, I'm gonna show you how to apply your own singles or cluster eyelashes. Now, I have done extensions in the past, first of all, we're gonna use these, and it kind of, uh, kind of stunted the growth of my lashes. I'm working really hard on growing my lashes back out. I'm using Latisse. Lash Boost, you know, from Rodin and Fields. I've also used um, um, Latisse, sorry, from the spa, and I'm starting to grow them back out. The, um, the other thing that's very difficult for I'm sure some of you is to use a full line of lashes like this because it takes a little more skill. So this is a great way if you are a beginner or if you want something very natural looking. So for even what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing jean shorts and a tank top. I could totally pop some singles on, which is what we're gonna do, or some clusters, as opposed to a full line of lashes, and it's gonna look um, like my normal lashes because of the way that they apply and how natural single lashes look. The other thing is they're not as heavy, so you can wear them all day long and not feel like you have a caterpillar across your eyelid. Um, and then for those of you who are sensitive to glues, like I don't know if you've ever worn a false lash and it makes your eyes water or you have a latex allergy, I find, and I have sensitive eyes, that if I use singles or clusters, I don't have as much eye irritation as I do by using, you know, these. So, and as a full line usually bothers me and the singles usually don't because I'm using such a small amount of glue and it's so such a small area of the eye. But it really does add a lot because hair in general is a sign of youth it's a sign of vitality and so it's super important all right so what i buy is these what they're they're called clusters and these are by i believe kiss brand you can get them at the drugstore cvs or walgreens i'm showing both facebook and instagram here and they have three sprigs that are connected so you're not just doing a single lash you're doing three lashes at a time the reason that these are great is because you can kind of stick them just a couple maybe on the outside of the eye and you get that sort of beautiful cat eye kind of princess eye without having to again apply, apply a full line which is really difficult for people. The other thing that we're going to use today and I only picked up one little tray that I have left here is singles and these are by Ardell. Now most of these lashes come in long, medium, and short so you're going to have the longer lashes down here and you're always going to want to keep the longer lashes on the outside of the eye. And then as you move up the tray to the shorter lashes, you're going to move to the inside of the eye. If you put a long lash in here, when you open your eye, it's going to hit your eyelid here. So you definitely want to make sure that you're paying attention to what lashes you're picking up off the tray. Um, because some are long and some are short. The other thing that we're going to do before we get started is I'm going to get my tweezers ready. And I always clean off the tweezers with my fingers to make sure that there's no glue left in the tweezers. Because if there's glue left in here, then it's very hard to put a lash down because what happens is the lash sticks to the glue on the tweezers. So clean it off. For the glue, you can use whatever glue you want to use. I typically tend to purchase Duo Glue. It's the blue and white tube, just like this. Um, today I also have the Kiss Lash is it this a, this a kiss one? No, this isn't a kiss one. I don't know where I got this one. I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the glue to the edge of the tray, right? Just like that. Very small amount. Now this is black glue. Um, black glue dries down black, so I would prefer using clear. So let's pull a little clear out, um, and here's why. I already applied my mascara. I get that question a lot. Like, do you apply mascara first? The answer is yes. This glue is not looking so good. So I did my mascara, I did my whole face, and then you can go ahead and put a thin line of liner on the top. So I did a black line, very super thin. For single lashes, you don't even have to line if you don't want to, but if you're a beginner and you wanna be able to hide that um, base of the lash down in the liner, that's totally fine. Go ahead and start by lining the eye. That way it's hidden. I'm going to use my tweezers to pick up a lash and I'm going to start, let's see, short, short, extra short. Okay, so I have two trays here. Um, I'm going to start with the longer ones and we're going to start on the outside of the eye. And I'll probably just do a few so that you get the gist. I pick it up with my tweezers because you have to kind of be delicate. I'm going to dip it down into my glue. 
and I'm using a cluster at this point by Kiss Lashes and you can blow on it. Now with a lash that is, um, let's see if I can find a mirror, that is a full line of lashes. Ooh, I almost dropped a compact, oh my gosh. You would want it to um, get tacky for at least 30 seconds to a minute. That's super important to making sure that the lashes stay on. That's one of the biggest mistakes people make. With these, because you're using such a small amount of glue, it really is such a tiny amount. You can pretty much talk like we have been for about 10 seconds and then go ahead and apply it. Now the key is, and we've done this before, but I've always done it on other people, so I wanted to show you on yourself. When you're doing it on yourself, hold the mirror down at an angle, look down into the mirror, and come from above before you stick it down. We're gonna start on the very edge of the eye, on the outside, and just leave it there. And so you can start to see there's one on there. One, one little cluster. And it looks a good bit longer than all the rest because my lashes suck. <laughs> I mean, really, like, but honestly, it's not just the lash extensions. I really don't have that much hair in general um, because I just don't grow hair. Like, I don't even have hair on my arms. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to pick up another cluster. And I do prefer using the clusters on the outside. That way I get a good bang for my buck. I'm going to dip down into the glue. And then we're going to move to the singles. So I dip down again. Now a question you might be having is, can you use these over and over again? And just like you can regular lashes and the answer is yes. I will take these off at the end of the night and I have like a little lash jar. I'll put them to the side. I'll use the same ones. Now it's really easy to just take the glue off. So I went again, right on the outside here look down, push it down. Um, ask questions as I go though, because again, this is live today, so you can ask your questions and I'll answer. Now, you might be asking, are you applying the lash to um, the actual lash or to the base of the, la of the eye lid? And the question is sort of both, I'm laying it right on top, but in that line that I already created, that black line, so you can see. You can already see a difference developing here. And it's such a huge difference when you just apply to the outside. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab one more of the cluster and we're gonna put one more on this side and then we're gonna start doing the singles. Um, and then when I pull them off at night, guys, it does not, oops. Sometimes they go like you drop them and then you can't find them again. Might as well just leave them because you're not gonna be able to find them sometimes. Um, they do not pull my regular lashes out. This glue is very delicate. It's super easy to pull these back off. Again, I'm gonna look down and this is my third cluster. I'm gonna apply. So I did three clusters on the outside here. Now I'm gonna to move to my single lashes. This is what they look like. These are by Ardell and I'm gonna use the short black because I'm moving to the inside of the eye where I don't want the long lashes to hit on the inside. So I'm gonna dip down into, now this is where it gets kind of fun to hold on to these because it's just one little tiny baby lash. Dip down into your glue, blow on it, and because it's such a small amount of glue, you can pretty much apply the lash and move to the next one, no problem. So what I'm gonna do is find my next spot that sort of looks a little empty and I am applying it on top of a lash that's already there. Just sit it down and let it go. People sometimes obsess too much about laying lashes down perfectly. You can always adjust the lash with your tweezers. So move it around if you need to after the fact. We're gonna pick up again another, and this is a single dip down in the glue. Now this is, this is only taking some time because we're talking through this. This is so fast and easy when you're doing it on a daily basis. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue down here. Um, any questions that maybe I'm not thinking of, make sure and remind me. Look down into your mirror, just like a lash. If you're doing a, a, a line of lashes and pop it on a curring lash. 
See, this one wants to stick to my tweezers, which means I must have glue on my tweezers. All right, I popped it down. Now, the other benefit of the single lashes over the strips is that they kind of look uh, more staggered because lashes aren't just straight across, right? That's when it looks unnatural. You want it to be sort of long, short, long, short, long, short, staggered, so it looks more natural because all of your hair doesn't grow exactly the same length. So that's the nice thing about these individuals is you can kind of stagger it. If you feel like, ah, I didn't press it down quite enough, then you can take your tweezers and you can just kind of squeeze the tweezers together and it's down. I'm gonna do one more short black on the same side and then I'll take a picture and maybe post it so that y'all can see the difference between one side versus the other. But again, if you are a beginner, this is a great place to start. All right, for those of you on Instagram, I'm gonna get really close for a second. Can you tell? The difference on the side that has the individuals versus the knot. Again, looking down and I'm gonna pop it right on the inside of the eye. So what happens too is after you lay the lashes down and they have a chance to sort of dry down to the eye, then you can move them around a little bit. You can actually put your finger under there. People, sometimes when they put the lash on, they're so not used to it, I'm like, you can budge with it. You can move it. You can put your finger under there. You can kind of push them up a little bit with your finger. That's okay. They're not gonna go anywhere. The only time they're gonna come off is if you actually grab them physically and pull it off. And so um, you can squeeze, you can use your finger. Oh, so much prettier. I feel like a princess now. And that's why I do it almost every day. Because it's so, I mean, you can literally maybe do five little singles, boop, boop, boop. And it just adds so, so much. And then you're not gonna run the risk of possibly damaging your lashes long-term, which I really feel like I did to my lashes. Now, y'all know I'm game to try anything. And I did try it for a full year. But then when I took off the extensions, it, it was like nubs. There were nubs. Now, that, I know that everybody's different though. Everybody's hair grows at different rates. Some of you have really thick hair. I have very naturally thin hair. I grow very little hair on my body. Like I said, I don't even have to shave. So maybe I just have weaker hair follicles, who knows, but that's how it's done. All right, so for those of you on Instagram, I'm gonna pick it up. You see the difference there? Yeah. All right, if you learned something, tag a friend in this video on Instagram so that they can learn how to do this because it's super simple, super easy. For those of you on Facebook, can you see the difference? And you can share the video because you guys are on Facebook. You guys are on Instagram. Sorry, I'm dropping the Instagram folks. Um, but share it so that some others can benefit from this. Also, this will help them ease into a full strip. If you are ready to move into a full strip, I recommend cutting your lashes in half and then just putting half on the exterior of the eye, that's a great way to also practice. That way you get that little princess eye, that little cat eye that we wanna get. It just look, It's just an extra little pretty something something. All right guys, I will see you in two weeks for Makeup Tip Monday. We've got some winners for the last few weeks, so I'll post those in just a moment. See you then.